Welcome back to another vlog. Today we are traveling across Turkey on an overnight train. We are starting in Konya and making our way all the way to Izmir, which will take about 12 hours. We've never taken an overnight train before, and I've only been on a handful of trains in my whole life, so this is a totally new experience for me. I was a little nervous about it, so we're gonna show you along the way so you can know what to expect if you're ever taking an overnight train in Turkey. First overnight train and honestly this car seems completely dead. The other cars had some people on them but even like the regular passenger cars where you just like get a seat, even those had very few people in them. So checking out our little car, we have a sink for washing your hands, looks like there's a plug-in thing to charge some stuff, there is a shelf up here along with some hangers. Our stuff does take up most of the space, which is kind of crazy because we have very little stuff while we're traveling. It looks like there's a little desk to work at, some more shelving space. And now this part is what I'm most excited for. I read that there's a little mini fridge with some complimentary drinks and snacks. And sure enough, this is that. So one thing that's been very different ever since getting to Turkey is instead of like water bottles that have these little containers of water. I don't know if it's like less plastic or if it's just easier to pack or what. But nonetheless, some waters. Two juice boxes. Who doesn't need a juice box? It looks like there is two snicker bars or the equivalent of a snicker bar, some kind of chocolate bar. And it looks like some crackers. So pretty nicely stocked. I had read also that back in 2016 and prior to 2016, there was a restaurant car included on all these trains. However, in 2016, they discontinued that. And so ever since they closed those dining cars in 2016, they only have cold food options available. During the daytime or, you know, until a little bit later tonight, the beds are actually folded up and you just have two seats to sit in. That way you can work at the desk or do whatever. And then later they're gonna come in and fold these down to be uh, two bunk beds. But, oh, that is so nicely folded. It's a small twin size bed, so I'm gonna see if I even fit on this thing. Oh. All right, so I mostly fit, tight fit, but still, I fit. If you were tall though, you'd be in tough luck because I'm pretty short. And then we have the top bunk up here. I don't know if I can bring it down. They might have to do something. It's stuck right now because, like I said, the staff have to come and fold them down. So we're just gonna leave that for now and get all settled in. So I see in our cabin, there's a little thermostat. It's set for 23 degrees Celsius, which is way too hot Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna turn it down. All right, well, I guess the lowest it goes is 21 degrees Celsius, so. That's kind of toasty for me. We just officially started our 12 hour journey on this train. We haven't eaten since we left our cave hotel this morning, so we are super hungry and are gonna go check out the food station. Options are limited, but we just ordered two cheese sandwiches and two coffees. We've noticed a lot of the coffees around here are instant, which we've gotten used to being on the go, which I never thought I would say that I would get used to instant coffee, but travel changes you. So we're just waiting for our cheese sandwiches and coffees, and then we'll just fill up on the rest of the snacks that we have in our car. cheese sandwich. It's warm and toasted and actually really good. And look at how big it is. A nice surprise. When they said cheese sandwich, I didn't know if it was going to be cold, how big it was going to be. This is a very nice surprise. Only question that remains is how expensive was all this because I have no idea.
So good news for the two coffees and the two grilled cheese, it was only $4. So we're probably gonna be doing that again for breakfast because honestly, it was pretty good. So our diet hasn't been exactly great ever since starting travel. And it's getting even worse tonight because there was only the toast in the dining car. And so we're definitely gonna be relying on these snacks that were provided. So it's gonna be a lot of chocolate bars and crackers for us. So I just had a bite of this Turkish candy bar, which is called an Albany. It's a lot like a Twix though. It's got like caramel, chocolate, and then there's kind of like a wafer as like the base. Pretty good. Just to give a little more background about our trip, we started off in Turkey in Istanbul, and then after spending a few days in Istanbul, we flew over to Cappadocia. And then from Cappadocia, we took a bus down to Kanya. And then in Kanya, we hopped on this train at 7 p.m. And then we're going to be getting to Izmir at 7.30 a.m. And then from Izmir, we're going to take another 30 minute train down to Selkuk, which is the modern day city of Ephesus. And Ephesus is where we're gonna spend a few more days just checking out all the different ruins in Ephesus. And now it's about 8.30, so we're gonna settle in to get some work done. I have some travel planning to do. Sophia has some editing to get done. So we're just gonna spend the next few hours before we kind of take down the beds and get ready for your sleep, just working away. So these bed chairs are not comfy whatsoever because they don't relax at all. It's like a 90 degree angle and not a very long seat either to slouch in. Definitely guessing it's more comfortable as a bed, at least I'm hoping so. Look at the cutest one of them all just editing away. What a queen. Time to test out these slippers. Quite cozy and they'll keep my little socks clean. So the bathroom is not the worst, but do not smell the best. So I'll give it a five out of 10. Here in Turkey, in a lot of the women's bathrooms, they have toilets that are um, literal holes in the ground. They're completely level with the ground. So I think you have to squat over it. I don't know, I'm super confused. Some places have it, some places don't. And I've honestly been too scared to try it yet because I don't really know how it works. But just something to keep in mind, not all toilets have have seats in the women's bathrooms here in Turkey. All right, so we've been working for about three hours. It's getting close to 11 p.m. So we're gonna try and get these beds out and maybe try and get a little bit of sleep. Hey, all right, this is the easy one. And this one I don't know how to do. On the bright side, I'm not dumb. They actually did have a specific tool to like release it to let it come down. But now we have our second bed. So I'm climbing up this little ladder to my top bunk for the night. It's a little wobbly up here. Hope I don't fall out. <sighs> Very snug. <laughs> It kind of makes me feel like I'm at a kid's camp in the summer, <laughs> like the good old days. Who knew this is what $17 could get you in Turkey? Now we're gonna hit the hay as we have another long day tomorrow, so good night. Well, it is about 6.15 a.m. the next morning, and honestly, I slept so good last night. Like, I wasn't really expecting you to sleep super good. I kind of expected to, like, wake up a lot throughout the night. But it, I only woke up, like, once or twice, and it was only for a little bit, and I slept mostly through the night. So that was a really nice surprise. This is honestly way better than, like, an overnight airplane. I mean, obviously, like, there's a bed, and you can lay down rather than just, like, a super uncomfortable chair. But regardless, this was way better better than expected. Now we're gonna start packing up and get ready to hop off this train and hop onto the next train. So we just got all packed up. We're gonna go grab some coffees before we hop off this train to hop on a different train. The bathrooms, however, this morning smell extra terrible. So since we're almost to our next destination, just waiting to use one there.
just got back from trying to get coffee. Unfortunately, the coffee shop slash snack bar area is closed this morning, so we we're not able to get any coffee. So hopefully we can find some at the train station once we get there. But the attendant did just come through and flipped up our bed. So now we are back to just seating style. And we only have about 20 minutes before we get to the next train station. So we just got to Selkuk, which is the modern day city right next to Ephesus. The train from Izmir to Selkuk only took about an hour and a half, was only $1.25 per person. We're gonna spend the next couple of days checking out Ephesus and all the ruins and all the history that is here. So make sure to stay tuned as we're gonna spend the next couple of days checking out Ephesus. Ephesus. 